today on my Bible app, every day it's a different verse, and it was a verse from Lamentations. That book was written by Jeremiah, who was known as the Weeping Prophet. And the whole book is dedicated to prayers and lamenting after the Babylonians came in and seized Jerusalem. The Jews really were suffering at the time and were being persecuted. And the reason is, is because they were idolizing other things before God. You know, that is God's first command. And we see a common theme throughout the whole Old Testament. And it's mentioned in the New Testament as well, that we shouldn't put other gods before God. Meanwhile, people are more obsessed with this Trump indictment hearing. It has been seven years, seven years, millions, maybe billions of dollars that we have been spending, your tax dollars and mine, in trying to get this guy in jail. Completely glossing over everything that he's done for our country. The fact that he sustained world peace. The fact that he was securing our border. And within Biden's first year presidency, he undid everything that Trump has done. So now we are basically sitting ducks. Half of America is glued to their TVs and the propaganda, foaming at the mouth. I want Trump in jail, forgetting that he actually did uphold the Constitution and Judeo-Christian values. It's become a complete idol. And so here we are as sitting ducks. And guess what's happening as we speak? Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping are having meetings. China's brokering peace deals in the Middle East between enemies, Saudi Arabia and Iran. And we're sitting here, open borders, watching our TV propaganda, forgetting that this country was founded on Judeo-Christian godly principles. And we have a president who is asleep and more concerned with rainbow colored flags. Now, I know some of you watching this are probably like, I'm right. You're wrong. You don't see things. Listen, I can be wrong. And so can you. The Bible says in Proverbs 1, 7, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. If we don't have a fear of God, if we're not trying to be obedient, if we're not repenting of our sins, then we really don't know right from wrong. It also says that if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. In closing, I'm going to share a few passages of scripture that will remind you how God feels about justice and how he will indeed punish those who falsely accuse and persecute others. And he will bless those who are falsely accused or persecuted. Persecuted. I'd also like to encourage you to pray for our country like never before. And don't just pray for the people you like. We're supposed to be praying for our enemies. Pray that justice will be served. And let's pray for one another, that we can repent and be humbled and seek God's face. There is no doubt in my mind, if we put God first, if we bring him back into this country and try to obey his law, then the law of our land will not only be upheld, we will be blessed.